Hi everyone, I'm Samfani back with some more Project Live and this is week 46. So this is the 12th of November until the 18th of November. I really wanted to catch up on my Project Live um, on my day off the other week and I managed to get one week done but I'm still a little bit behind. I managed to get all my other videos videoed so that was fine and you know obviously up to date with that so those will be coming shortly. Um, I just really want to catch up on Project Life. I don't really want to go into the new year with... Um, project life still to do because I'm so close it just seems you know if I was months back I would have admitted defeat but I am a couple of weeks so I should be fine if I just commit to it on one of my days the problem I have nowadays is the um lighting it's just it's so dark here in the UK it doesn't get light until about half eight nine o'clock and then it goes dark at half past two three so there's just not much light and I obviously work in those hours so I can't just sort of take time out to just go and do my project life so um yeah it's the daylight hours I struggle with but I should have some more time later on this week so anyway um this week I'm using the photo play autumn greetings collection which I really love and I get to use all the cut parts on this two layouts because I just don't have that many um photos for this week it was a really chilled week actually um really busy then onwards <laughs> but for this week it was pretty chilled so I got to use a lot of my three by four cards um up which is nice so I'm going to use that I love autumn card as my title one because I had a bit of white background to it so I thought that'd be quite nice um to stamp on so I'll do that later and then the first photo is just a picture of the cats um Mango has this thing about the washing basket and I was actually in the bath and they they both come in and they just start playing in the bathroom but Mango loves to sit in the washing basket and Moose loves to sit on the bathroom mat underneath our sink um so yeah they're just I just think they're really cute they just sit there and chill basically um so the washi tape that i'm using is this peace and positivity washi tape that came from paper chase i really really love it it's this orange one and um i just thought it matched this one quite nicely obviously because of the colors but also because as you'll see we was in a bit i wasn't but our car and joe was in a bit of an accident this week so a bit of positivity this this week needed um the only six by four Pocket has the um, I Love Fall Most of All um, cut apart, which I really love. I just wanted to keep it quite, quite plain. And then the whole sort of third row is pretty much about this car accident, but also I didn't really have any other photos. I could have included some more photos if I really wanted to, but I just thought the one was enough. Um, so the picture is just of the car, basically as it was. Um, Joe got basically knocked off the road. Um, a car thought he was turning he wasn't so they went straight into the side of him um, luckily he's absolutely fine the driver was fine um, it's just that our car is a bit battered um, it's still drivable which is good um, but it's just the hassle of having to go through all the insurance and um, you know hopefully they can fix it it's not going to get fixed until the first week of January so we've got a bit of time but as I said it is drivable so we're not without a car um, but it just means that we're driving around with a massive dent in the side of the car and also one of our little bumper things around the wheel the wheel arch has come off as well so it's just not in the greatest of shapes um, so yeah so I'm going to put that photo on the right hand the left hand side and then I just use the three cut parts um, one was a bit of journaling so I can write about it and then one says thankful grateful and blessed and then happy full because obviously I'm just thankful as much as inconvenience I'd rather that than um, someone be seriously hurt in the, the accident so it's fine it's just a lot of paperwork so then the cards are going to go to the bottom again really really simple um, just two cut parts one says gathered together with grateful hearts and then one says hello four and it's got that coffee cup next to it because Joe actually went into Leeds and he brought me back a Cinnabon, um, which is a brand new shop that's opened up in the city centre. It's obviously American and I've always always wanted to go, but I just haven't. It's the only time we've ever been able to do it um, is it's the shop's been in like a garage. So <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to get to, but now they've actually opened up a proper shop. Um, so yeah, Joe brought me home one of those and they were so good. So I got a picture of the outside the box with obviously the Cinnabon logo and then the actual picture of the Cinnabon itself. So yeah, it was so good. Highly recommend um, for those in the UK that have never tried them before. Um, I just love cinnamon buns. They're my favourite um, pastry ever and yeah, just amazing. So I'm just using some of the cutter parts, just, uh, sorry, some of the stickers on the cutter part, like the little pie um, sticker and a lot of the word stickers. Um, and then, yeah, the paper that I'm using is just actually some of my um, 12 by 12 paper that I've used before. I have a couple of sheets left, so I'm just going to use one of those sheets to make up some of the 
the paper behind some of the photos but it's just a really really simple layout as i said not many photos at all there's only four on there um but it's nice to be able to use some of the cut parts up um on this layout so for the title i'm just going to use my um stays on uh, brown ink which is called timber yeah timber brown um by stays on i'm just going to use um my stamps the lowercase stamps because there wasn't too much room on that cut apart but um i could fit the lowercase week and then obviously the four and the six for week 46 and then i'm just going to stamp the dates at the top using my normal date stamper um so yeah just a really chilled uh, chilled week as i said it, it does get much busier and that's the reason why i'm behind because i just did not have tiny time to myself at all um so i'm really glad that um i've managed to get this point up in my project life um so i've only got a couple of weeks left to do it's not like i'm months behind as i said um but for me i'm pretty much on it most of the time but this this couple of weeks has really pushed me um in terms of my own availability i've just been constantly out the house or I've just had to be doing something, or the lighting's not right, or, you know, whatever the reason. But um, I'm glad to be finally catching up. And as I said, I should get, you know, I should, hopefully on the first, the weekend, going into January, I should hopefully be complete on my 2023 project life. And then I get to start 2024, which is really exciting. I absolutely love starting a new album. Um, I really love looking through the year and thinking, wow, that's really gone quick, or that's gone really slow. And actually, when I look back at January, this year I think well we've come a long way um but 2024 scares me a little bit because there's a lot going on um and the wedding is 2024 so we've been engaged and preparing to get married since 2022 so the fact that it's finally come around it's actually going to be in the same year is crazy um so yeah lots of things to come lots of things to do in 2024 and it's not just my wedding either in 2024 we've actually got four other weddings to go to so yeah, really, really busy year and just in the middle of organising our honeymoon, which has taken a lot of planning and prepping. Um, so I look forward to actually documenting that. Um, I'd like to put like a, all my little workings out and my sort of planning and stuff like that together. So I might put that in at some point. I might even put it in my wedding prep album as well. Um, so yeah, lots of really cool things coming up. Just very busy this time of year. But I hope you've enjoyed this part of the week and I'll be back with part two shortly. Thank you very much. Bye.